Hello and welcome back to Planal Gaming. I'm Trifinity Vortex and we're back in Skyrim here. I bought myself a horse. I have no idea what I'm gonna name him, but I have a horse now. This will make traveling a bit easier out in the wilds. Oh, and there's a dragon over there. Can you see that? Maybe not. Maybe I can, but I got I smithed uh, Lydia some new armor. Whoa, there's some horses. In Dawnguard, they added, um, you can fight on your horse. <laughs> I just really suck at it, apparently. There we go. Anyway, yeah, you can see Lydia's new armor right there. It's, uh, carved Nordic armor from the Dawnguard, um, DLC. I made myself a Nordic, um carved war axe and a bow and some arrows so that I can it's better than what I had so unfortunately I'm not a heavy armor so I can't wear that armor well I don't really want to get in heavy armor at this point so and you might notice I'm wearing some thieves guild armor I joined the thieves guild uh, during my leveling up kind of level grinding Kind of playing off camera kind of dealio that I was doing. I'm coming up on that dragon a little more now. It's probably gonna try and kill us. It's just what is it doing over here? It's attacking something maybe? Or is it just scouting around? It's very strange. Wait. Is that... That's Alduin, is it not? I swear that is. Is he... Oh my. Ugh. Oh my. Goodness. Jeez. Now that's a random world encounter I won't forget. Come here, you. Oh yeah, there's my new axe. It's a little bit... It's very blocky looking from this angle, but in the inventory it looks pretty cool. There, check it out. Not bad. Looks cool. Uh, this is my bow. This is a very fancy looking bow. Arrows, just arrows. And my new armor. Okay. Bring it on, Vin... to Ruth. This is why I should wander the world more often. Cool stuff happens. Oh man, I don't want to waste my arrows. I actually smithed all 336 of these arrows myself. Took a bit of work. I don't know if he came from this barrel or not. The game's kind of glitchy. Um, you coming back, dragon? Oh, I bet you I know what's happening. Something's killing him up there. Wonder what it is. Person, some hunters, what? Guards? Alright, hang on. Slow down time. Ah, that was a good hit. Whoa, I was blinded. Well, that would have been better if my arrow flew faster. Come on, dragon, get over here. Now he's way down there. What is this joker doing? Oh, he's probably trying to kill my horse. I just bought that horse. You have no right to do that. <gasps> Come here, you jerk. If you kill my horse, I'm gonna take it out of your hide. <sighs> Great, that missed. Where is my horse? I'm never gonna find that horse again, am I? Oh! Bring it on, you silly dragon, you. Get in there, Lydia. You won't get the best of me. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> that is what I'm talking about right there. Did you see that? 
Of course you did. Of course you did. Holy cow. Okay, once- I know this has happened before, but it's just so cool when it happens. If you damage a dragon enough when it's in the air, like I did, it will crash out of the sky and make a massive trench like this one did. And I- I- that arrow? I shot it right as it was coming towards me. I actually killed the dragon with that arrow, but because it wasn't done making a trench in the ground... Oh, man. That was just sweet. <laughs> oh. Okay, we have to get to, um, we're trying to get to Winterhold, up here. So we've got, like, some mountain paths to, uh, deal with here. <gasps> anyway, unless something else interesting happens, I'll see you guys when I get to Winterhold. Now, ain't this a pretty sight? <laughs> Take a look at Winterhold. Oh, there's some wolves. Maybe I can get them with my bow. Anyway, take a look at Winterhold there. It's floating. Oh, that was nice. Well, who are you shooting at me? A high elf. Well, what? What do you want, man? <laughs> Who's your voice actor, man? Come here. Oh, he's going down the hill. Now I gotta get him. Oh. He looks like a pincushion. Now, where are those wolves? Well, I got one at least. Lydia's around here somewhere. Anyway, take a look at that crazy floating college. It's floating on a pillar of stone. And the bridge is literally suspended over nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Fun times. Okay, let's get a little bit closer now. Um, do I have my shout? <gasps> yes, I do. I love this shout. I wish I had the other words of power. Though. Oh, my goodness, it's a bear. Not just any bear, a snow bear. E. Ah. There's two of them. Okay, okay, fine. You win, you win. It's axe time. Is he running away from me? Maybe just running away from Lydia. Ah. You can't get the best of me, random bear. I have a new axe. That's better than you'll ever be. It's kind of cool. This is one of the great things about Skyrim. You know, wandering the wilds and coming up on all random adventures. It's not about the destination so much as the journey. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Some iron. I was just mining, you know. There's a mine on the way to uh, Winterhold. It's quickly mining there because uh, I want to make some more dwarven bows and grind up my uh, um, what do you call it now? Smithing <gasps> skill. It's also an easy way to get money because a dwarven bow, all you need is iron ingots and dwarven metal ingots, and dwarven metal ingots are extremely easy to acquire. I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. Oh. Okay, won't happen Good. again. Glad we straightened that out. Clearly I'm gonna do it again, but uh I'll just be nice for now. You'd have me do what? Go into college and prance about casting spells all day. Prance about? Just walk away from me. What do you think you're going? Here's the gatekeeper. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Well you're nice. What is this oh, place? Forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Ooh. May I enter? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Um, information? I seek the knowledge of the Elder Scrolls. Do you? 
It is true, there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. Don't worry. It would seem that the college <laughs> has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not uh -huh. just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. I got skill with magic. Test, if you will. All right. Um I'll take your test then. Excellent. Those invested in restoration magic find healing hands to be essential. Can you cast it on me? That healing hands? Um I don't know that spell. No. Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around. All right, I'll buy it. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Let me uh read and equip it. Wait, maybe I already have it. Did you give me a scroll? Whoa, whoa. Patience. Uh, which one is it? Well this done one? Indeed. Well done indeed. <laughs> I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. Thank I'll you. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Master yes, wizard. So, basically. I'm not really here for that. I need to get my elder knowledge. So I'll just follow her for now, and then I will go and... Can I go ahead of you? I don't really have time for this. <laughs> What's the hurry? I'm trying to save Skyrim, lady. The World Eater, Alduin's hanging around. I had a chat with him a few minutes ago. He sent another rabid dragon to try and kill me. You know, we're old buddies. Oh, look at all these mages. <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. You know, they say knowledge is its own reward. Ancano, quite the character. If you ever do the Mages Guild quest, he's my favorite. Definitely my favorite. Here we go. To the Arcanium. What a cool name. I always thought that was a great name for a library. Here we go. Gotta get behind this desk. Treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Look at his nose. It's a, like an arrow. Anyway. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Yes. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. This is now, why you don't get on a mage's bad assistance. side. <laughs> All right. Um. Ah, I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? Girl? I am a lady. <laughs> Tell me about the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> I knew it. Everyone come. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of a mm -hmm. To read an Elder Scroll, a person... Okay. Even so, the divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. Yikes. Okay. Um, do you have one that I could use? <laughs> uh, you think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? Yeah, probably not. I'm just a random person. The, <laughs> the greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. I'm sure they would. Just cause. Um, what about the dragonborn? What about... Wait. Are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? They indeed I'll bring were. Everything we have on them, but it's not much. He doesn't They'll even ask for proof. I mean, I could lies, be anyone. With rumor and conjecture. I'll read whatever mm -hmm. you got, man. I like books. I'm surprised he. Oh, hey, Lydia. I'm surprised he just like accepted that I'm Dragonborn and didn't even like ask me to like demonstrate it. Try not to spill anything on them. What do I have to spill? Do, am I carrying a, like, flagon of meat in my hand or something? No. R ruminations.
The acorn is a kind of tree egg in this instant. The knowledge is water and sun. Right. Each of our minds is actually the emptiness, and the learnings of the scrolls are the pinpoints. Eh? <laughs> Elder Scrolls are a bit confusing, I guess. Effects of the Elder Scrolls? Elder Scrolls entail a certain hazard in their very reading. Right. Anyway, we don't have time to get into all these details, but... Oh. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. This it's ruminations book is understand. incomprehensible, man. It really Aye, is. That's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls. But, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Hmm. Where did he go? <laughs> Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but well... That was years ago. Uh, haven't heard from him since. Hmm. Not sure why it is... Like, there's a, a... Well, he's a librarian. But he's an orc. You wouldn't really expect an orc to be a librarian now, would you? But hey. Anyway, there's a, another... Interesting looking you know, dark elf. They say knowledge is its own reward. Okay, well, I guess we got the information we needed, didn't we? We're off to find- to go to the ice fields and find Septimus. Oh, Septimus. <laughs> Reminds me of, um, the movie Stardust. Septimus was definitely my favorite character in that one. He was a pretty cool guy. You should go and watch it if you haven't never seen it. It's pretty cool. Fantasy. Um... Yeah, okay. Well, I guess that'll be the end of this episode for now. I'll see you guys next time when we're going to find Septimus up in the ice field somewhere. He probably knows where an Elder Scroll is. Probably. But, uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys then. Bye!